A deadly shooting during Christmas shopping at the Mall of America. We have learned that at least one person has died, a teenager, and that police are still trying to find the suspect. Police hold me a news conference here to provide a little bit more about what happened. I do want to play that for you. It's about 10 minutes long. Brief overview of what I can now. Uh, we'll have more tomorrow as we continue to gather information. So today at around 750, uh, one of our officers had heard uh, what they believed to be gunshots in the uh, first floor of the Nordstrom store. One of our officers was in the vicinity of that. The officer um, called this out and they went into Nordstrom's and they ended up finding one male um, who had been shot multiple times and they performed life-saving measures and those life-saving measures were unsuccessful. Um, I'm not gonna identify the male at this time, but he is a 19-year-old um, African-American male. After reviewing the video, um, it appears that there were, there was some type of altercation between uh, two groups. Uh, from what we can see now, you're looking at between uh, five and nine people. Uh, during this altercation, uh, one of the males had pulled out a gun and um, shot the victim. All the males involved appear to be African Americans um, on the video. The family here, I, I really feel bad for them and their loss. I mean, this is before Christmas and now they're having to bury uh, one of their loved ones. Um, the mall is continuously evaluating uh, their security measures and I know they're still looking at uh, metal detectors and what would be best for a facility of uh, this size and this type. But again, we have an incident where if someone decides that they wanna pull out a gun and shoot somebody with a complete lack of disrespect for human life, I still don't know what we can do uh, to, to stop that. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I can't even think of another word. This is just flat out stupid. I mean, you're going to go out here and shoot somebody um, in a in a fight. I just I'm trying to not um, get too mad here on this. But suspects, uh, we're in the process of identifying suspects, and uh, I'm confident that we are going to catch these people and we're going to lock them up. And I'm going to reiterate what I said the last time: if anybody helps these people. I mean, so much as buy them a Happy Meal, uh, give them a ride, we're going to lock you up with them. Uh, the people who are responsible for this, turn yourselves in. I mean, just let's do us all a favor. Um, turn yourselves in. Uh, we are going to catch you. We are going to lock you up. And you are going to get an orange jumpsuit. Um, it's just a matter of when it's going to happen. But I strongly suggest you just turn yourself in um, and get this so... Just get this over with, man. I mean, people have been through enough loss and tragedy. Uh, so with that, uh, I'll take your questions and I'll answer. I'll try to answer as much as I can, but understanding that this is an active investigation and I'm going to let our detectives work and we'll probably have some more information for you tomorrow. Do you can you share any information about the suspects at all? So right now, uh, what we had was we had the shooting and then about five to seven people ran out because the shooting kind of happened right next to the door at Nordstrom's, they ran out. So we're in the process of identifying them uh, right now. And once we have that, uh, I'll get that to you. Two questions. Is it safe to say that this was a targeted incident? Uh, right now, it just, they had an altercation. It was some type of altercation. We don't know why they happened uh, or what happened. We just know that the video shows them getting into uh, some type of verbal fight and fists start to fly and then one person uh, decided to pull out a gun and shoot somebody. And then the victim and the victim's family, are they local or were they from out of town originally? Uh, local. Not Bloomington residents though. You said five to seven people ran out. Of those five mm -hmm. to seven, how many would you say are suspects or would have been on the side of this altercation with the shooter? We don't know yet. 
Uh, we're still trying to piece that together. Did you say multiple shot multiple times? Do you know roughly how many times? Uh, no, just multiple times. Oh, I, I did leave out one thing. There was a innocent bystander, someone who was just um, in the area, whose jacket, a woman, her jacket had gotten grazed by a bullet. So we're very fortunate on that one, too. Don't know yet. So hopefully our detectives are working, so hopefully we'll have more on that for you tomorrow. How much of this was captured on video? Was it uh, security camera video from the mall? Yeah, security. So, I mean, you can look around here. I mean, the mall has plenty of cameras. That's why I understand why people think you're going to come here and do this and get away with it. I, you know, so yeah, we, we will catch these people, uh, but they had good surveillance of uh, what took place. Could you tell where they fled? Did they go to the like, rail? Did they go to? They ran out that Nordstrom exit and into the parking lot, and we're still trying to follow up on video from that. Would the mall remain closed to the nose? The mall could succeed? So what I've been told is uh, the Nordstrom store will close, but the mall will be open from 10 to 6 tomorrow. Yes. The mall had uh, tested metal detectors a little while ago. Have you guys thought about bringing those back, or was it going to cause uh, both of the mall or the police department to kind of revisit that? Uh, I know the mall is still continuously looking at that, um, so that's going to be a question for them to answer at some point. But because I know they tested them out, and I know that they were looking at that as a possibility for metal detectors. Um, well, so the question is, would, would we support it? I mean, obviously we're going to support anything that's going to make people more safe. But I remind people the State Fair had metal detectors and someone got a gun in there. I mean, if someone's going to have blatant disrespect for humanity, I don't know what we can do to stop some of these people. Yes, I was here today uh, with my family. Um, I've been here for the last three days shopping, um, and we'll, we'll still come back. Do you, do you carry your firearm with you then when you come shopping with your family? I'm not going to get into my personal security measures, but probably. There was a singular car rolled off on the third level. Can you comment on whose car that was? Uh, it's an active investigation. I can't. Sorry. Uh, we're still uh, investigating right now, so I don't know the answer to that. He asked that we recover any weapons inside the store, so we're still actively working this. Can you say anything about the number of casings? Or that? Uh, I don't have that information right now. So hopefully the plan is is uh, we're going to let our detectives work to the best at what they do. Um, and the people that did this, I'm telling you, we're going to catch you. We're going to lock you up. I'd strongly suggest you turn yourself in, uh, but if you don't, make no mistake, you are going to get arrested and we are going to lock you up. It's just a matter of when that's going to happen, um, but we're going to let them work, work the case. Obviously, Bloomington Police is leading this investigation. What other agencies are assisting you guys? Uh, right now, uh, the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office is doing the uh, crime scene, and I think we called out uh, some ATF assistance uh, to assist with some of the uh, the firearm stuff at this point. Chief, you talked about metal detectors, things like this. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a time that that conversation might take place? Well, I know the mall, yeah, so the metal detector piece, uh, I'm going to defer those to the mall, but I know the mall has been having those conversations. Um, obviously, I, I know there's been several news stories on it um, to try to secure a building like this. Uh, the mall is um, a great security partner. And again, this incident took place. One of our officers was in the store right next to Nordstrom's. We had 16 officers working today at the mall. 16 cops in the mall, and they still decide to do this. I, I, I'm just, I'm in a loss. I'm in a loss. How do you stop this? Well, I, the question is, how do you stop it? I don't. If someone is hell bent on demonstrating a lack of respect for humanity, I don't know. I know you addressed this early mm -hmm. on. How close was your officer? It, it was a Bloomington officer. Yes. Correct, yeah. Uh, to the, to the yeah, they were. Uh, they were in the store adjacent.
to Nordstrom's. And they heard the shots, so the officer was the one that actually initiated this call. It wasn't citizens calling it, it was the officer that was uh, nearby. Again, you may have that you were being shot for fire. Not at this point. No, because it's an active investigation. Chief, can you describe how quickly that altercation took place? Did it happen in a matter of seconds? Yeah, it looked like the entire incident, and this is preliminary, so I'm going to be, be cog cognizant of when I say this, um, was about 30 seconds between the time when the groups came together, shots were fired, and they ran out. It was about 30 seconds. Can you say what sort of physical altercation? Oh, yeah, they, they were physically fighting. Yeah, they were physically fighting, and one person pulled out a gun and decided to murder somebody in the store. And all young black men? Yes. And was, I don't know how closely you were able to review the video at this point. Uh, obviously, there's one gun. Do you know if there were any uh, others pulled out? Uh, we, yeah, as far as other weapons, we don't know yet at this point. So, we're, again, this happened at, you know, a little before 8, so this is still an active investigation, and we're still trying to piece everything together here. Um, I don't know. I'm a, I don't know. He asked the question, is the first fatal shooting at the mall? I'm going to assume yes. I mean, I've been in Minnesota my entire life, so I don't ever remember someone dying at the mall. This is a tragedy, and I'm really trying to contain um, how I really feel about this, uh, but we're going to catch these people. Believe that. Chief, any other information? So we'll, uh, we'll do an update tomorrow. Uh, and here's why, you know, a lot of times I know we stand up here and we say active investigation, active investigation. There's a reason for that, and I just want the public to understand this. Uh, we got to give our detectives time to work, right? And once uh, they've exhausted their work, if we haven't caught these people, then we'll come out and ask for the public's help. But we have to let them uh, do their due diligence and try to get these people locked up. Yes. Any other questions? So we'll send out another update uh, tomorrow about what time we'll do something to try to give you some more information. Um, and again, for the, I really feel uh, the family, um, you know, the mom, the dad, and the other relatives uh, that that we spoke that the that the mayor and I spoke to before coming out here. Um, they're in pain, right? and rightfully so, and for something that should not have happened. Was the victim's family here at the mall too?